All right then, so now we have our sign up action right here when a user signs up. And when a user signs up, Firebase sends us back the user on the response. So we commit that mutation set user and pass in that user so that we update the state right here to be that new user who's just signed up and that happens. So now when they sign up, our global state becomes that new user and then we can access that user wherever we want in the application. Now what I'd like to do is move on to the next action, which is going to be the login action. And this is actually going to be very similar to this one right here. So first of all, we need to import another function up here from Firebase. And this one is called sign in with email and password. So sign in with email and password like so. All right. So now we have that. I'm going to create a new function down here. So comma and then async login like so we take in the context object and also we want the email and password on the payload so let's destructure that like so and then the inside of the function is going to be almost identical to this one so what i'm going to do is copy all this and paste it down here so first of all let's change this to login action and then over here we still get a response. The function this time though is called sign in with email and password. We still pass in the auth object as the first argument, then the email, then the password. Then we're logging out the response here. We don't need that. And in fact, we don't need it up here as well. Let's get rid of that. But if we have a response, then we commit a mutation, set user, and we pass in the user object on that response object. So again, when we sign in, and we commit this mutation right here. We're saying, okay, update the user state to be that new user we pass in as a payload, all right? So that's when they sign in. All right, so then we'll say right here, could not complete login like so. And that's pretty much it for this action. So now all we need to do is use the action inside the login component. So again, a lot of this is gonna be very similar to this signup code right here. So what I'm gonna do is just copy all of this from error down here, like so. Copy all of that and come over here and replace this thing. So up here, paste it in. So we have the error now. We have the store and the router. And in fact, we need to import those. So let's do that as well. Import and we want the use store function from Vuex. Then we also want use router as well. So import use router and that comes from view router like so. Okay, so handle submit is an async function. We try this where we dispatch an action. This time it needs to be the login action. We still pass in the email and password values, which are these refs. And then if it's a success, we push them to the home page. If not, we catch the error and we update our error ref to be the error message. We need to also return the error right here, and then we can output the error up here as well. So I'll do another div with a V hyphen if, and we set that equal to error. So only if there's an error will we try to output it. So in curly braces, error like so, and then close off the div. All right, so that my friends is pretty much it. So when they submit this form now, we should be trying to dispatch the login action, which is going to try to sign them up or rather sign them in, sorry, with this function. And then when that's complete, we get a response object back. We commit a mutation to update our state with that user that's logged in. All right. Okay. So let's now save all this and give it a whirl. All right. So we already created that user Mario at netninja.dev. Let's try logging in with that user. So Mario at netninja.dev and then test one, two, three. In fact, we'll just do test one, two, three, which is the incorrect password because I want to show you the error right here. So log in and we can see Firebase error, wrong password. Now, you might not want to show that error to your user. You could write a custom error instead, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's fine. We know it's the wrong password. So now I can add on four and five, log in. Then it should redirect us to the home page and we can see user state changed. And this is the new user state in the store now and we can see it right here all right awesome so now we can sign in 
and now we can log in and when we do those things we're updating our store state to reflect that user who has either signed up or logged in. Next up we need to handle what happens when we try to log out.